Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Here we are at another um, food review. So today I have two things that I'm gonna kinda do quickly when I'm on um, a bit of a time crunch. I have a thing from Subway from 7-Eleven. And it's um, a, uh, their, uh, um, they have a lemonade, a new brand of lemonade, organic lemonade, strawberry, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors, no added sugars or sweeters, sweeteners. So we're going to just try this. There's a pop, so you know I haven't opened it already. For all you guys that say, say that I already open it, complain or whatever. Okay, it's pretty good. It tastes like lemonade with strawberry. So next thing. Um, um, oh, sorry. Um, so first, three phases. First phase, we're going to try it. Um, tastes pretty good. If you can have seven, if you have a 7-Eleven near you, uh, you have access to it, then you shouldn't have a problem getting it. So, uh, get it. It's about um, five, no, four. Uh, uh, it's three dollars, I believe. I don't have the receipt with me. Three dollars. Said it's organic. There's uh, no. Uh, this is both worlds. A blend of strawberries and lemons, part sweet, part that, but also better. This is some preservatives. Squeeze seven food reviews, uh, sorry, sorry, seven, seven rewards is what the rewards app is. Protein, one gram of protein, a calorie, 70 calories, about two servings per container. So, pretty good. It's not too sweet. If you can't get it, um, I would say there's a pretty good uh, blend of some artificial sweeteners that you can use, artificial uh, uh, lemonade makers, and you can uh, get some and then add some strawberry coloring to it or a strawberry taste yourself. That's what you want. Next thing is kind of interesting. I never saw this before. There's a Taki flavored um, Slim Jim uh, beef jerky. Um, so we're going to try this out. It says meat stick, hot chili pepper, and lime flavored. Uh, ba, 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 and bit. B -A -B -A -B -H -A and, and BHT. Added to protect flavor. Not sure what that means. We're going to try it. Inspired by the intensity of Takis. Well, that's actually kind of... Um, Misleading. I don't know if that means that it's actually a Takis company. I think if they had the logo on it, they'd probably safe to say. Uh, Best by March 2022. Um, so, but uh, I don't know. I guess we don't know, but we're going to test it for ourselves. Okay. Um, it's good. It tastes like um, it tastes like um, <clears throat> pretty good beef jerky. So um, definitely tastes like good jerky, like a Slim Jim. It's not your mystery meat. It's not your budget bacon. It's actual beef, um, from what I can, can recall. Um, okay, here's one funny thing. Here's actually a problem. I never actually had Takis chips. I think most people who know Takis are probably um, familiar with the chips. I've never actually had those. I've never been a big chip guy. Um, so um, uh, I should, probably should have had those before since that's a more common thing to do. But too late. I already had it. So um, if you can't get Takis, uh, the meat sticks, they're not offered wherever you are. I don't know if this is 7-Eleven exclusive. There's nothing that says it is, so don't hold me to that. And I also don't remember if I ever did a Slim Jim or a uh, beef jerky review. I might have done a beef jerky review, um, but I really don't know. So um, it's kind of a... Um, just check it out. Uh, but if you can't get a hold of these, then I would say, um, you know, if you can find a, any old typical beef jerky, it doesn't have to be a stick form, and you can use um, hot pepper and some lime, uh, maybe mix it together, I think a sauce uh, would be good for it, then you might be able to get some similar enough flavor, then you can rate that on your own. But uh, overall, I think I'm pretty happy with uh, both of these. I would say, um, you know, they're, they're good, they're, they're good. The Taki's a little hot, but not too hot. Okay, take care.